Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL tutorial with Lana at NoStar. Today we are going to start a new series on SQL programming mistakes most commonly committed by developers. So we had recently posted a quiz on our channel in which we asked about the difference in the output of two queries. One of the queries was using an AND condition on the join and another query was using a WHERE after the join condition. We also changed the joins from inner join to left outer join. So we'll first uh, let understand the scenario which we had in the quiz. So we had two tables called employee and department. The employee table had some four sample records. You can see the employee ID is related to a department ID. When we go to the department table, the department ID also has a sub department ID. So we had two queries wherein we were filtering on or we had the AND condition on the sub department ID being A. So the first query that we had written was something like this. So this was a query, simple query using an inner join and was selecting the data from the employee table and the department table. The condition, the join condition was on department ID as we could see from the relation between the two tables. So the join is on department ID column. And then we said that and department sub department ID is equal to A. If you go back to the data over here, you will see that department ID 1, 2 and 4 have the sub department ID as A, but department ID 3 does not have the sub department ID as A. So this record, what happens to this particular record, that is what we are concerned with. And the department ID 3 is associated with employee ID 1003. So I'm going to execute this query first and see what are our results. So I'm just going to execute this inner join and and condition. Let me execute this. And you will see that out of the four employees, we got only three employees in the output who have the SIP department ID as A. Now I'm going to the next query. I'm just going to execute it. And then we'll try to understand what exactly is the difference between those two queries. So the next query that we had written was this inner join. So same as earlier. And the on condition on department ID, joining the employee and department ID on department ID columns. But instead of the and here, we had the where clause and the same criteria of sub department ID is equal to A. Now I'm going to execute the same query again and let's see if it is the same output. So I've executed the same query and I see it has been the same output. So this would look particular condition of sub department ID being A has acted in the same way irrespective of whether we use the WHERE clause or the AND clause. But then does that mean that these two clauses are replaceable? No, they are not. And we will understand when we convert this query to a left join. So I'm going back to my first query and instead of this inner join, I'm now going to put a left join over here. So if you see over here, the entire query remains the same. The only thing I have changed over here is the inner join to a left join and then we're using the AND clause. I'm going to execute the same query again. And now if you see, I've got four employee records and I've got null in sub department ID for department ID. So department ID three, if you remember, did not have the sub department ID as A, it had the sub department ID as B. Okay, just let's take a moment and go and execute the other query and then we'll try to understand the difference. Now again here, the query with the where clause, I'm going to change this to left join. And let's see if we get the three records here. So I'm going to execute uh, three or four records here. So I'm going to execute this query again. And what we have got in the output is just three records. So no record for employee ID 1003 at all. The record has been filtered out. And here lies the difference between the AND and WHERE. When you put a WHERE clause, then it's a filter on the output of this part of the query. So whatever is the query, whatever joins you have performed, whatever are the results which are obtained after the joins, they will be filtered based on this where condition. Where condition is simply a filter and then the joins would be performed first. Whatever is the output you get from these joins. So if you just execute this part, what you're going to get is all the four records. Now out of those records, as soon as you write the where clause and this particular condition this result set will be filtered on the sub department ID as A so only those records will be selected which have the sub department ID 
as a which are going to be employee id 1001 2 and 4 3 will be filtered out so there will be no record for employee id 1003 in the output there will be just three records in the output even though this is a left join in the previous query where we use the and clause what is happening if we just execute the query till here we are going to get the four records now this and is an additional condition of the join on the department table so what we are telling it here is that you have to first restrict the records of department table only to sub department id a so you have to perform this join between the employee table and the department table records only those records of department table for which the sub department id is equal to a so here we are effectively telling it that the sub this table table department has we are going to only consider those records in the department table where the sub department id is equal to a so if i include this condition right here what i'm going to get is only three records so now you are joining between the four records of the employee id left joining them with these three records of the department id table so what is going to happen since it is a left outer join you're going to get all the records of employee id irrespective of whether there is a match in the department table or not if there is a match you're going to get the value of the sub department id as it is populated in the department table if there is no match then you're still going to get that record from the left table which is the employee table but the table of but the value of the sub department id is going to be null as is in this case below so if i execute this query again what's going to happen is that i'm going to get a value of null in the sub department id so the number of records is going to vary over here the sub department id is going to have a null value and there will be four records in the output whereas if you go back to the previous query with the where clause the all the records which do not have sub department id as a will be filtered out of the final result set so your number of records will be restricted based on whatever is your where clause condition so this is the difference between the where and and when you use it in your after your join conditions this query was asked by one of our viewers so thank you for asking this query this is an interesting scenario and one that might be a common scenario for sql programming mistakes we will be posting more quiz on sql programming mistakes and then explanation videos on them so stay tuned and please subscribe to our youtube channel if you like these quizzes and the videos that we post thanks a lot for watching goodbye